Hello and welcome back to Palm Tree News. My name is Andrew, I'm joined by Chris, and we'll be covering the news that we found interesting today. Game director Hidetaka Suhiro, better known as Swery, has announced that he will be making a second attempt to crowdfund his next game, The Good Life. The game, as described in the original pitch on Fig last September, is a daily life RPG featuring a photographer from New York who gets mixed up in a murder mystery set in a small English village. The added Swery twist is that at night, the townspeople turn into cats. It's exactly the kind of game you'd expect from the director of Deadly Premonition and D4, and I was sad to see it raise less than 50% of its goal on Fig. However, Swery had stated that they were going to take what they learned and bring the good life back to crowdfunding, and it sounds like they learned the right lesson. The upcoming Kickstarter campaign will include actual gameplay footage to help pitch the game, as well as highlight the experienced team working on the game. I'm a big fan of Swery, and I love the idea of a wacky RPG murder mystery featuring English cat people. Hopefully he has better success when the good life launches on crowdfunding via Kickstarter on March 26th. In Nintendo news, the company has revealed its first Switch-based offerings for My Nintendo since the console's launch. Currently, you can get some Wii U and 3DS titles for free, and other related media such as desktop wallpapers and phone wallpapers. But the Switch will be receiving a different type of reward starting early March. Players currently earn gold points by purchasing both digital and physical games, and those points will be used to discount digital purchases once the service launches. While there is no word on the conversion rate, I would hazard a guess that every 100 points would equal roughly a dollar, which is in line with most point reward systems for major credit cards. What's more is there will be some form of integration into the eShop with your My Nintendo account, which allows you to apply your gold points first to reduce the cost before paying off the remainder. There is still no official word on conversion rates when applying this discount, but a more practical use for My Nintendo points is pretty exciting. Continuing on this Nintendo train, the director of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Takahashi-san, has detailed exactly what we can expect in the next major update to the popular title. As promised, the Advanced New Game Plus will allow us to play as some of the infamous blades from the story, as well as allow blades that were previously unable to be removed from the main party to part on Merc missions where the skills would be useful. As far as the player characters go, there will be some additional skills to earn, as well as the addition of the Traveling Bard. Traveling Bard allows players in New Game Plus to remove full levels from themselves and use the experience's currency to purchase special items. One of the items mentioned is used to add equipment slots to player characters, which I felt was absolutely missing from the main game. Outside of that, there are a few quality of life changes, but nothing super major. I really do love that Nintendo is allowing this team to continue to grow their world as they see fit and make it into even more of a stunning example of what modern JRPGs can really do. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Update 1.3 is expected to launch next week. Eurogamer has confirmed the rumor that Bandai Namco is working on Metroid Prime 4. Earlier this week, rumors had begun to circulate that the upcoming entry in the Metroid Prime series was being worked on by Bandai Namco. Today, Eurogamer stated that multiple sources had confirmed these rumors. The studio working on the game will be Bandai Namco Singapore, whose staff had previously worked on the Far Cry series, and also features former LucasArts Singapore staff, who had previously worked on the cancelled game Star Wars 1313. While Nintendo has yet to confirm these rumors, Rumors, Eurogamer is usually pretty reliable when it comes to confirming these kind of rumors. Hopefully Nintendo will be showing us more of Metroid Prime 4 soon, since it looks like the game has a pretty good team behind it. Well, that's all the news we found interesting today. Feel free to share any awesome gaming news you may have missed in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time.